tired. I'm tired today, you guys. I did not sleep well last night. I went to bed freezing. I literally couldn't get warm. I don't know what the deal was. I had a sheet, a fleece blanket, and my down comforter on me. And it took me hours to get warm. And my feet didn't get warm until I fell asleep, I think. Um, I took melatonin. Anyway, so I'm pretty tired this morning. I've only walked 5,000 steps so far. But I've got to go to two stores today, and I know Costco alone is 1,500 steps. So <laughs> I'm going to count that for what it's worth. And I've got to prep for, um, what do you call it, book club tonight. I'm hosting book club, and it is our Christmas book exchange, as well as our, uh, what do you call it, um, picking our books uh, for next year. It's our voting. Um, I'm going to do my injection because my pen was downstairs. Had to get a new pen. This is my little setup if you... I don't really think I've ever shown that to you. But um, I, I had a new pen that I had to get downstairs. And so I had to come back up here and do it. Um, so anyway, I've got my little pen here. This was from yesterday. Nope. I didn't have a cap to put this one in. I have to dispose of these. Maybe I'm going to ask the pharmacy today. I have to go and get a prescription. But I'm going to ask where I can dispose of my needles. I have to find an official place, but I haven't found one yet. So, I am going to shower and get cleaned up. Getting the bubble out. And getting my dose. I won't do this on camera. You don't need to see that. Oh, there's the cap. There we go. Now I gotta dispose of those two guys and today's, but I'm gonna go take a shower. Can't even really see me. See me. I'm just tired today, but we had a good morning. I just need to get my kids to do their chores after school, make sure that the kitchen stays clean, and I've gotta to go to Costco and find a book to give as one of my gifts, and look online for a book that I would recommend. And it's always kind of sad for me this year, because um, usually I ask my mom. I ask my mom for book recommendations. We kind of bounce off of each other's, well, we used to bounce off of each other's book clubs and our book lists and get recommendations for ones. <sighs> but I have a few friends I think I could ask and get their recommendations because they were in the original book club that we had here in our area and they've just since moved away. So. I'm gonna do my injection really quick and then I keep putting it down. Goodness sakes. Uh, I'm gonna do this really quick and then I'm gonna get cleaned up. We'll go to Costco. I do need to go to Target, but I'm gonna wait until I can get Chelsea from school um, and take her to a scan that they I signed her up for. It's a heart scan, so it pays more because you have to put on a hospital gown. Um, and it's invasive because it's your heart is near your chest. So it's a little bit more personal. And uh She's excited about that. And then we'll run to Target. She um, got new pants for church and for my niece's wedding upcoming, but she doesn't have a shirt to wear underneath the three sweaters that she has. She has like three cardigans. She's like, Mom, I just want a nicer shirt to go underneath it um, so that if I get hot and take it off, I'm just not just wearing a t-shirt. So we're gonna go and help her pick that out, get my prescription, and then come home and have book club but I'll show you the little spread. So far I have um, some caramel dip left over from last night. I did not show you guys um, the whole spread that they had, but it was really cute and kind of gave me ideas of how, how I can do my book club tonight. Unfortunately, 90% of the people who <laughs> were there last night are also not, no, 90% of the people coming tonight were also in the activity last night. And so I don't want to completely copy it because it'll be obvious that I'm copying it. But at the same time, I was like, well, I have caramel dip and I have apples, so, oh, it's blurry. How long is it blurry? All right, my camera was being funky before I got in the shower, so I'm not really sure where I left off, but I have gotten ready to go, and I'm gonna run to Costco, look for a book, and I think I might look for a snack or something. I'm trying to see if I have everything that I brought up here. Um, and then I have to pick up Chelsea. So, I'm gonna head out. How are you guys doing today? Um, Ashley is doing a lot better today. She's 
not talked about our conversation that we had yesterday, but she didn't have any issues this morning and we packed her a good lunch. And you know, that's always an issue. So we have, oh, I should actually, hmm, should I, should I vacuum now? Or <laughs> I think I'll wait. Cause Kaylee needs to do all the counters and then Chelsea needs to sweep. So I'm gonna wait for that before I actually vacuum. I have about three hours from the time I get home tonight until book club. So I wanna make sure it stays clean the whole time. All right, let's go. This is my pile of to-do. I have all these receipts to scan. I gave my sister a little Merrill gift card for free shoes. This is how behind I am on videos for next week. Today is Thursday. I Today's video is when I'm, it goes right here. I don't have a whole lot for next week. So <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm behind on videos. Um, but as soon as I start doing like Christmassy stuff and decorate and all that kind of jazz, it'll, it'll pick back up. But look how clean the kitchen is. Just don't look at the floor or actually how dirty the counters are, but I have done my part. Also, one thing I bought at Costco last time I went was new towels. These aren't dry. No, they need to get dry. New towels for Jason and I. There's four of them and I am not sharing those. <laughs> I am keeping those for myself and for Jason. All right, I found a few snacks. I'm gonna set out, this one is like peppermint s'mores. So I don't know if they're gonna be Jason's favorite, but they'll be okay for tonight. I've got some bagels for the kids, and this is the book that I found. Um, I don't know, hopefully it's good. All right, I have been relaxing in the car instead of going home. Picked up this little squirt, and you don't mind doing these scans, right? No. She's going to do an ultrasound scan on her heart and it pays more, so that's always a plus. It's right there. Um, I don't know why I enjoy like hanging out in my car, <laughs> but I just had an hour to kill. So I checked my emails and I made appointments. I made a blood <coughs> donation appointment. Um, and luckily I made the appointment with her when they called instead of, I usually just book it online. Um, and I'm gonna focus on the road instead of the camera but I made the appointment with her in person or like over the phone and was able to ask if I can donate blood even though I have gotten a tattoo and she said as long as it was from a licensed parlor um, and within the United States it was fine so I am still safe to donate and because I am O positive I am the universal blood type and it is in strictly high need um, I got a $30 gift card for somewhere. I couldn't tell what she said, but it will come to my email and I'll be able to print off some kind of a barcode and use it. I don't know what it's for, but it's 30 bucks for donating blood. I looked into doing plasma. My sister donates plasma right now and makes a lot of money doing that. And the um, blood center that I donate through does not pay for plasma donations. But the only one close enough to me that does pay for them is 40 minutes away. And you have to do it like three times a week to make it like really, really good. And that's a big time commitment. <laughs> it's like a part-time job to drive an hour and a half total and then it's a two hour appointment time. So it's like four hours of your day you know, kind of taken up, so I can't do that, but we're gonna go and get her scan, and then I will go and set out my stuff for book club tonight. Um, while she is in during her scan, I have to still be there, um, parental consent and all, I need to research what book I'm going to recommend for next year. In the past couple years, we've had too many books to choose from. Hey, can you pull the cord? For me to charge my phone? Yeah. Shoot, I should have been charging this whole time. Um, I need to find a book to recommend. Because while I could recommend a book that I got, I don't know anything else about it. So, I need to find one. I've been reading more fluff books lately and they're not necessarily ones that lead a good discussion for book clubs, so I have to find one. 
<laughs> okay, Chelsea, tell me what you asked your teacher today. Can I leave class early if I make you laugh? She said no. So then I was like, fine. Can I at least tell you the joke? And she's like, fine. And so this is my earth and space science teacher. So okay. um, it, did you know diarrhea is hereditary? <laughs> no, I did not, Chelsea. Because <laughs> it runs in your genes. <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> So bad. Okay, we just got done, and we're at Target because I need to get a few things. I'm and going in. we just pulled in behind um, Kaylee, Kaylee and Jacob. Jacob. They're in Jacob's car. They just got done at the gym. I know. And all of a sudden, music is playing in my it's car, like, and I was like, I don't have my phone hooked up to my Bluetooth. It's not working. But like, the radio's not on. There's nothing turned on so on my I phone. I go here, and Kaylee's phone. Yeah, connected. And then, yeah, it's connecting to Kaylee's phone. So I'm sure that they're like, why is my phone? <laughs> Anyway, it's kind of funny. I was like, why is, where is this music coming from? We should just like But we were so close to them that it was connected to Kaylee's phone. I don't know if they know that we're over here. I think okay, we're trying to sneak up on them. I don't think that they know that we're over here. Chelsea, you're already short enough. I don't think you need to duck. Okay, go. Go, go. All right, we got home from Target. I didn't show you what we got down there because it was pretty busy. She got a couple t-shirts, um, not this style. This is the only one she got, like this one. But there's a little something. I hate self-checkout for this reason. And it didn't like alarm when I left the store. So now I have to take that one back. I'm not showing the other person. I'm not gonna show the other person that until she has dinner. Um, scan that, but I have to take that back. And get the tag taken off of it, but I also I'm gonna take these to the kitchen. But we've got the kitchen cleaned up in here, we've done the floors, I have vacuumed the whole downstairs. The fire is toasty warm, but I know my friends are cold in my house, so I have to leave it on. Kaylee has done her counters, so now I can set up my little stuff up here. And I'm gonna get the cups out, I can open up the treats because I know my kids. They're gonna to wanna to eat them. I'm gonna put out those and the s'mores. And then depending on what people bring, I might need to pull out some popcorn or something, like regular popcorn, because I know people like that. But I think only seven people are for sure. There's one maybe. Um, her daughter is due any day, and she wanted to be able to go and take care of her grandkids while her daughter is having a baby. So she said if she doesn't have a baby by today, she'll come. Um, and that will be fun. So I'm just going to get out seven or eight cups and some water. Well, a pitcher for water. I'll put it in. I still have two hours. But I know my kids, they're going to come down here for food an hour, half hour, right before everyone gets here. And I don't want to have myself frantic setting up. I just want to make sure we get their messes cleaned up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I won't need one. But just in case people have an RSVP'd. I will throw out a few more. We're trying to get some new people to come. That's why I'm kind of doing the extra effort. Not that I wouldn't for my regular friends, but I just know that I want to make sure everyone feels welcome at coming to a new home. I don't want to... You know, I just want to kind of pull out a few extra stops. Restocked the little hot cocoa bar um, just for aesthetic, not necessarily for my kids because they devoured the candy canes and the marshmallows last time. I don't need to do that. But tomorrow, just as an FYI, stay tuned. Christmas is throwing up all over this house tomorrow. I don't have anything on the schedule. I'm not going anywhere. No, I am going somewhere tomorrow night with Jason and our friends, but I am not going anywhere all day. So I have, I have Jason home and I want Christmas set up. I mean, I know the few areas that I know I'll be able to get to and I'll have him set the tree up with just lights on it. We won't decorate it yet. So I won't even pull out the ornaments. I'll definitely do that after Thanksgiving next week. So, <sighs> I'm all hot. I want to go and sit in my study and open the window and get myself cooled down. 
but I need to leave the fire on because like I said, I know I keep my house cold and my friends get very cold when they come over here. So I'll just keep that on for them and uh, should be pretty good. While I yell at everyone for making messes and needing to stay out of the kitchen in the next 20 minutes, I have been in here wrapping my present or my book. It's, uh, it's out there. I'll show it to you. And I have been um, trying to find a book. And I found one, Jodi Picoult is the author, and I have read so many of her books, but I haven't read one for a really long time. And Wish You Were Here is the one I just chose for my book suggestion for um, tonight. I'm gonna see if there's another one. Um, oh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That one was at Costco, actually. Um, I wondered, uh, I think it's based on a true story of Evelyn Hugo. Um, so I wonder if that one would be good. Um, so that would be another suggestion. Uh, so anyway, but I could also suggest the book that I gave. Some of us do that. Sometimes we get the book that we're suggesting, um, just so that that book can actually be in circulation when we're going to read. Um, so I'm just kind of looking and seeing if there's other, see now I see, I'm seeing like so many good titles of books. Let's see, Nicholas Sparks. We don't tend to do Nicholas Sparks for book club because they're just, they're just fun stories, but they don't like lead to like good questions. Do you know what I mean? They're just good stories. But I'm going to keep this list up so that I can add a whole bunch to my, uh, my, uh, what do you call it? Oh, the last thing he told me, I just read that. Was that the, I just read that. The last thing he told me. What was that about? I literally just read this. I haven't read it. Why does that look so familiar? Maybe it's on my list of ones that I want to borrow. <laughs> um, on hold. Anyway, I, it's now it's kind of fun to like, um, kind of peruse books that I can uh, uh, rent and listen to because I'm listening to All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. It's really good. I like that one. I'm into a crime thing right these days. Just watching a show. Um, I need to go brush my teeth. People are going to be here in about 10 minutes. Um, parking is tight. So I've told them if you can't find parking, find it where you can, even far away, and I will come and get them. So, uh, anyway. Here's the book that I wrapped up. Yeah, it's a holiday s'mores. I don't know if I like it as much. Oh, you're such a party pooper. Thanks for the gift, honey. I did, thank you. If you don't like it, then I'll put it out for tonight. Let's That's see. Not that bad. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't actually want to put it away. All right, book club is over. Everyone has left. This is the book I ended up getting. I was Anastasia. I don't think you can see that. There we go. Um, so that one's gonna be fun. It was not on our list. I'm gonna give you a little screenshot of our list in case you like. And actually I can post a better version of the list. These are the books that we ended up choosing. I'll just kind of glance down. Well, I will just put it in the description. <laughs> because my handwriting was bad and we have to vote and pick our final books. So, oh, did I pick? Oh, okay. We have to vote on it and we luckily had 10 books, 10 people here, and we usually do eight books plus two extra just in case. So everyone's book was picked and two are on a running up, runners up um, list. Hey Jace, can you go and pick up the books and put them back on the shelf? Can you round up the books yeah, for me? Yeah, I'm trying to clean this book. Somebody got something all over it. Not tonight. That was just from storing it on the shelf. So, it looks like I have lots of leftover treats. People have left. Um, but I used to have a little display of treats. But there's lots left over. But we had a great night. I think my number one book that I'm excited to read... Well, Joanna Gaines' new book... Um, was the top one being stolen from our book exchange. We did like a white elephant exchange where we each open a book that we have brought and then that book can get stolen twice. 
and Joanna Gaines's new book, Stories We Tell, was one that was stolen. And then the other one that was stolen um, twice was Candy Cane Caper. We're trying to decide if we, we normally don't do book club in December because it's too crazy, but we're trying to decide if those who want to read Candy Cane Caper meet next month or next December and talk about that. Um, but the other book I was really excited to read besides my own, which was Wish You Were Here by Jodi Picoult, um, was Rules for Visiting. And I liked that one because it was this lady who um, decided to stop using digital friendships. She's like, I need to go and find my analog friends. <laughs> that was kind of the preface of the book. Like, no, I need to go start to visit people in person, going back to like writing postcards and letters and visiting people in person. We just have gotten so accustomed to only following people's lives on digital media, social media, online, that we forget how to have personal relationships. So I think that book will be good, but I'm tired. I don't have any kids asleep yet, correct, Jace? I don't know, they're in bed. They're in bed, but they're not asleep. But I'm gonna end it with you guys. I've had a good day and 10 o'clock, I'm gonna go to bed. So take care. I hope you enjoyed whatever my day ended up being. <laughs> um, book club is kind of my thing. I've had, I've had to adopt it because someone needed to be in charge, but also I love this idea of connecting with people, connecting with books, sharing stories, sharing ideas about stories. And um, we had kind of dwindled our numbers down this year to only about five or six people coming. And tonight we had 10, one that had to leave early, but there were three or four people that just couldn't make it tonight, but plan on coming to book club. And so our numbers are about to double. <laughs> and I think it's fantastic. And plus we have more people who have bigger homes and they can host. And I'm so excited to not always have to be the one to host. I don't mind doing it, it's just, it's work to have to host and I have kids who are in and out of the kitchen past eight o'clock at night still. And that wasn't the case years ago where they went to bed at seven o'clock and they didn't get out of bed. And it's just not the case anymore because they're older. So anyway, that's it. I love book club and um, the camaraderie we have and it's an easy way to get to know these new people that I have just met. And it's fun. I'm gonna start a book club. Yeah, the men are starting a book club, or restarting. Should we say restarting? Sure. <laughs> and uh, it'll be fun for you guys. Oh. Gotta keep going with it. Okay, can you? Well, we were going with it, and then I didn't have time to maintain it, and nobody else took it over. See, that's, we have both been the person to like maintain it, and that's, it's a hard job to do when no one else kind of follows through. And then COVID happens. Yeah, so that's hard. Okay. Take care, we gotta clean all this up. Um, take care, good night. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is, oh you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.